Now, let's get into that story from TimCast.com. Majority of Americans no longer believe that Biden is competent. Do you know, you know, uh, if it wasn't on TimCast.com, I'd almost assume this article was fake news. You know why? It implies that at some point people did believe Joe Biden was competent. <laughs> right. So, yeah. <laughs> so now they don't? This is the one thing? Well, you know what it is, is that people live in the media. They, so when the media is saying Biden's great, everyone's like, okay. And now that he's botching Afghanistan and the media is criticizing him, now the people who don't pay attention are all of a sudden shocked to realize, oh, but he's doing bad? And isn't it funny how these polls track with the mainstream media narrative? They say, according to a new poll from CBS, 51% believe that Biden is not a competent commander in chief. Well, 49% believe that he is. I'd like to meet at least one of these 49%. Who are these people that believe, after everything we've seen? The pollsters also found that 52% of likely voters do not feel the president has been focused. I just, I just, who, who's this 48% that has heard the man speak and heard the word true and a shop at a pressure and decided that that was focused? I know those people. <laughs> they're, they're my family. They're my friends. Uh, there's tons of people. Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah. I mean, that, that's true. And I don't think you could throttle them into reality. I really don't. Yeah. You know, and that's really sad. And it, it's unfortunate for me because it's cost me friendships. It's, mm -hmm. it's cost me a lot. But I, I, those 49% of people do exist. And I don't think that they're necessarily willing to wake up to what's actually happening. Yeah, it's, 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 it's safe. Yeah. We've got these baby chicks, okay? We, the, we've, we, had, uh, we had, I think, 14 eggs. And we're not good at what we're doing, so most of them didn't make it. But three of them Aww. did. And they're actually pretty spunky and strong. And they are scared to leave their little brooder box. It's safe. It's warm. Mm. Now, one of them, though, is always, like, peeking out. <laughs> you know, and it wants... There's one, that, that one that's brave. And that's, that's what this reminds me of. The two out of the three, they're like scared and they're just like, I don't want to leave. It's warm and safe. Don't make me go. I don't want to go in the real world. And I, I, I look at them and I'm like, they would have voted for Joe Biden. <laughs> it's, it's just easy. It, right. You know, it's, you don't got to think. It's like, you know, we hear from these YouTubers like, you don't even got to think. You just go to the website and it's all done for you. Here's where it gets, here, here, here's where, uh, well, this is interesting. The CBS poll was conducted as Afghanistan fell to the Taliban. And 53% disagreed with the way that the troops were withdrawn. 70% said the removal of troops could have been handled better, along with 55% who said some troops could have stayed, according to Breitbart News. Now, the sad part is, we'll go to the, to the bottom. There's a couple things here. Rasmussen found that 55% of voter, voters believe Harris is not qualified to assume the duties of the presidency, including 47% who said she is not qualified at all. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. That's harsh. What 43% uh, of likely voters believe she is ready to be the president way down from 49 back in April. A couple mm -hmm. interesting things. Civics shows Joe Biden's job approval by state. In almost every single state, Joe Biden is underwater with disapproval. It is California, Connecticut, New Jersey, New York, Hawaii, Oregon, Illinois, Rhode Island, Maryland, Massachusetts, Vermont, and Washington that have a positive view of Joe Biden. Yeah. Hmm. Basically blue states. Of course. Count and on it. The craziest thing about all this, I suppose, is it's it's independent voters are driving all of this. Republicans mm. hate Biden and Democrats love Biden. And that's not changing. But independent voters are are are, are shifting away. Fifty seven percent disapprove of Joe Biden. So I don't know what this means. I mean, maybe we'll get a 25th Amendment. I'm really shaken with his uh, his behavior in the last couple of weeks. It's nice to see the polls like this catching up. I don't know. Did you catch so many people were polled or? If it was like a nationwide poll? Uh, well, civics is 91,514 responses, nice. but that's yeah. over a couple of years. Um, I don't know. I can pull up the CBS one, though. I When this Afghanistan thing went down, I don't know if it was intentional and they were like, you're going to make us pull out? Fine. We'll show you what a pull out looks like. Here, suck it. Or if it was just Biden was so is such a poor military commander. He's the commander in chief of the U.S. armed forces. Mm -hmm. He's such a poor military commander that... He just didn't understand tactics. Like you leave air support in while you move people out on the ground. It could have been a three-month process moving people out. He had he had he had all year, and they rushed he it. He knew. So it's two thousand one hundred forty-two adults with a margin of error of, uh, margin of error of plus two point three percent. Two thousand. That's a that's a big sample. I, that's a, that's I, a big sample. I got like a pang of fear thinking, what if this stupid Chinese boogeyman, the CCP, but like if there was some sort of like coordinated invasion right now with Biden at the helm. If he really doesn't, isn't a good commander, and then we have to fight a war, we lose 
because the commander misappropriates the first Dude. days are the most you know n vulnerable moments in a war you know what, you know what i think this people that were saying that afghanistan has revealed the emperor has no clothes and you know what's crazy to me is this realization because i've actually even though i know joe biden's kind of like you know not all with it i still felt like you know people say like oh who's biden's handler who's really pulling the strings oh it's going to be kamala and hmm. you see afghanistan it's like dude they're they're legit following biden and so when Biden mutters, stutters, and stammers and falls asleep, they just sit there. Like, I genuinely thought there were people, like, picking up the slack for Biden. After all this, I, it's like people were MIA. Like, where was Kamala? She wasn't speaking. Now you've got this video where she's walking out, and the reporter's like, I want to ask you about, if, you know, the people. And she's like, <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. And people are like, why, why is she laughing? <laughs> she laughs at really weird times. She's a weird person. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think that Biden did have people picking up the slack for him. And I'm afraid that the people who were doing that for Joe were people like Mark Milley, people who were focused on things like white rage no. instead of what it would have been like to pull out properly. No? I think Mark Milley is, is, is an example of the fact that Biden's just sleeping. In his, they, they probably walk in the Oval Office and he's like, mm -hmm. and then Mark Milley's like, yes. Mm -hmm. ah, I, you know, no one's going to fire me now because Biden's asleep. He can't do it unless he wakes up. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, how do we have these people? Woke generals, chaos. It's the end of the American empire. I forget which commentator I listened to mention this, but you just see Joe Biden. You see him walking away from these press conferences. You see him walking up, up to the podium. This is not the face of a healthy democracy. Hmm. It just, I mean, it, it, it's, and it's painful to watch. It really is. And I, I, I feel those pings that you're talking about when I see him speak. And, and, it's, and it's, at a certain point, it just, it, it, it's not even funny. You know, I mean, like some people still just kind of want to pile on to him and make fun of him. And it's not funny. It, it feels like... He is uh, genuinely struggling to put together a sentence, to put together a perspective, and to lead the nation. And How is it only now? I guess I made the point, right? People were following the media. But only now, these independent voters are like, hmm, maybe this, you know, 79, 78-year-old, he's going to be 79 soon, 78-year-old guy who can't talk well. There's something wrong with him. That's, that's what I was going to ask you. What do you think it was that was the straw that broke the camel's back? Essentially, it, was it Afghanistan or was it just like this was the final thing, the latest thing that's really just made people kind of see what's happening? This is what's scary about it is that it's whatever CNN tells them. Hmm. Yeah. You know, and, and, and CNN's like, Biden's great. And they're like, OK. And now <laughs> Afghanistan, like CNN wants war. War is good for the, for the bottom line for all these media companies. Now they're like, oh, he really messed this one up. And now regular people are like, CNN said he messed it up. So he did. There you go. The funny thing is, he hasn't lost, in, the civics poll shows Biden hasn't lost a single percentage point from Democrats since the fall of Kabul till today. Like, I just, it's, 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 it's a cult. I wish I could say it surprised me, honestly, but it doesn't. And it is a cult. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Here's, here's the thing about Trump. Trump was giving a speech and he told everyone to go get the vaccine and they booed him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I, I'm laughing like, oh, geez. <laughs> but that, doesn't that prove it's not a cult? Yes. For, even Trump's most dire supporters are like, no, Trump. You're mm -hmm. wrong. That's, that's, that, to me, that's kind of, that says a lot. And I think that shows that tr uh, Trump is the avatar for that working class anger. Mm -hmm. they, these people are not blindly following Trump. A lot right. of them are. For yeah, sure. a lot of them are. A lot of, but, but to boo him when he said that, mm -hmm. there's, Shit. there's, they, there's, Based. yeah, they, they, <laughs> right. they, they, they said, no, Trump is not the end all be all. But Biden, people just say, go Biden. Sam Harris tweeted something. You guys, you guys know Sam Harris. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he was like, yeah. unlike, you know, the Trump supporters that blindly just defend Trump, you know, I'm going to criticize Joe Biden. It's like, oh, you're so brave. You and CNN criticizing Joe Biden. Wow. For once. <laughs> that, that's really unfortunate about Sam Harris. I, I really think that he's one of the public intellectuals who got broken in some sense during the lockdown. I think I think something like uh, triggered in his brain and, it, and he hasn't recovered in some yeah. sense. Because used to, I would be able to listen to him and I would hear coherent thoughts even when I disagreed. But lately he's just been on some sort of bandwagon that doesn't even follow up with a lot of the stuff he used to claim. What happened to people? Hmm. I know. I know. Yeah, I got a story about that actually, and this is it. Really hit home with me because, like, uh, my best friend of fifteen years. We've we've been best friends for a really long time, and uh, I sent him a text message. And I was like, uh, "Did you see the key to NYC situation?" The vaccine pass. Yeah, and well, he's he's a Chicago guy, you know, a blue pill all the way, Lori Lightfoot supporter, you know, still still still, um, and uh, he. So I I I told him about the key to NYC program. I was like, "You saw this, right?" He's like, "Yeah, yeah, it's." it's 
great. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> he, right. That's what he said. He said, this is, this is effing great. And I was just like, this is fascism. He said, I, I don't care if it is. I love it. This is exactly what needs to happen. There need, these mandates need to be in a place, and people need to follow in line or not. And I said, I didn't realize that you were a fascist. I hadn't, re I hadn't realized you became <laughs> radicalized. Yeah. And he said, Chris, we're going to have to disagree on this. And I said, no, 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 we're not disagreeing. You're disagreeing with the definition of fascism. Yeah. And he goes, do you want to still be friends? Or are you going to let this go? It's a simple question. I got its answer. I mean, but but it's not just... Did you tell him to screw off? Oh, no. I, I haven't heard from him since, and I didn't wow. message him back. Actually, I did message him. I said, that sounds exactly like something a fascist would say. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. But, but, but it's, it, it, these kind of derangement fits happen on, on personal levels, and they also happen in these kind of national displays, like on Twitter. And I, and I see more and more of that, and it's really disturbing to me. I, I love this reference I used to the Galaxy Quest one. You guys have seen Galaxy Quest? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Tim Allen. Yeah. Totally. I, Tony Shalhoub's character is just like <laughs> laughing. They're 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 TV actors on a spaceship. They're gonna die, and he's just like, I guess we're gonna die. Whatever. He's laughing. That's kind of how I feel about everything. You know, not not to like downplay it, but people often say like, how did you know Nazi Germany get to the point to to violate Godwin's law outright? How, how did how did Nazi Germany get to that point? It's like bro, you're sitting here right now, like New York is mandating identification and and, and uh, 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 proof of vaccination to enter a restaurant. It's like, I, I get it. If you want to, if you're concerned about your health and there's a medication, it's FDA approved, taking congratulations, you can go to doctor and you can figure it out for yourself. But for the city to be like, fire all of your disabled employees. Like, uh, mm. <laughs> we've we've certainly crossed the line here. Yeah. And what's funny is like, you, you, you saw, you mentioned about your friend. They're cheering for it. Yeah, they're, they love they're, it. They're, they're, they love it. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? They like, feel what, like their tribe is winning, it, right? I mean, isn't, isn't there some sort of like very basic tribal element to this? Yeah. Yeah, man. But, what, but, but there's no, I guess these people don't understand that they're not, they're not in the, the, the actual tribe of elitism. Mm. The, mm -hmm. Those that run the systems and are locking everything down will throw them into the gutter at a moment's notice. But so they're just standing there gloating, saying, ha ha, I'm on the winning team. And I'm like, I don't care who's, I, leave me alone. Yeah. You, you can go, like, I, I feel like I'm watching a hockey game and they're like just playing really aggressive and I'm not playing the game. And I'm like, just get, get away from me. And they're trying to throw me into the rink to play. And I'm like, no, hmm. they just, and, and, and now they're throwing stuff at the stands. And I'm like, yeah, why are you throwing stuff at me? Like, I got nothing to do with your game. Dude. Would you fight mm -hmm. to protect people that hated you? That's a good question. Hmm. I guess there's a lot of uh, nuance in that question, though. I don't know how to answer it. Like, if you're destined to be a villain, even if you protect the people. Mm. If there was like some, like, if there was like an Antifa guy, and he was like yelling and cussing at me, and then like, <clears throat> you know, he was like walking away, and a car was speeding at him full speed, I'd probably try and save him. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, that's the GI mm. Joe in you. Well, it's just yeah. like the dude. You're allowed to hate me, man. You know, like if, if the guy's not being violent toward, if he was violent towards me, I'd probably run away. I'd probably be like, nah, I'm not gonna get anywhere near this guy. Well, it's, it's not a good idea. But if there was like someone who was like, I hate you, you're dumb, and then I saw a car coming, I'd be like, look out, and I'd try and save him. So there's a difference between being violent towards you and hating you. I suppose that's where there's some nuance there. Yeah, if they're like throwing rocks at me, I'd just be like, nah, I'm not going anywhere <laughs> near that guy. You know. What about you, Ian? Uh, based on your question, what yeah, would you do? Yeah, I would. You it's would? pretty thankless. Hmm. Mm. Also, I wonder, like, if you're preserving, like, low intelligence humans that just eat and reproduce and eat and reproduce and then starve out the system, if you're actually doing a disservice to the species. Mm. I don't well, know. It's, it's weird. Dangerous questions. Right. It's <laughs> yeah. very ethical and, like, um, yeah. what's the genetic, what's that? Gen, um, Epi uh, eugenics? Yeah, eugenics. Yeah, eugenic. It's very eugenic eugenics. way to look at, like, should they live or should they die? But, I mean, that's basically what governments do. Mm. And you know, I'll tell you this for a fact that these these uh, powerful interests have asked themselves these questions. No, no, no doubt about it. Because uh, uh, when, when we had Alex Jones here, I asked him that question on the show. What if the, the, the all of this stuff about the end, you know, the end and he, overpopulation is true. And we as humans are just yeast in a bottle consuming all the resources and farting ourselves to death. And mm. he said, you know, Alex said, he, he's like, I ask myself that question all the time. But how do you answer it? It's 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 a legitimate question. The problem is, you know, I can't remember exactly what he said, but he was like, you know, it's, you got to defend freedom and, and liberty. We, no individual person is going to be smart enough to steer the ship properly, and we can rely on human nature, which has always found solutions through ingenuity and invention, 
or we can just hand it off some despot authoritarian who we know through history has always oppressed, murdered, and punished. It's tough, man. It, you know, because we, we're at, what, like 8 billion people? There mm -hmm. is like insect populations declining. There's dead zones in the ocean. Thanks for checking out this clip from the TimCast IRL podcast. If you want to see the full show, come back to this channel, youtube.com slash TimCast IRL, Monday through Friday at 8 p.m., where you can leave comments and super chat, and we actually will read your comments on the show. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And if you want exclusive members-only content, segments you can't get anywhere else, go to TimCast.com, become a member, and we even have full bonus episodes. Thanks for hanging out. And we'll see you all next time.